Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to my spoiler-free review of the folk horror film Midsummer by Ari Aster. And I know this is sort of like the legacy film to Hereditary. I'm just going to let you all know right now, I'm new to movie reviews, have not seen it, so I won't be using that for comparison or anything like that. So let's get into the premise of the film. Again, spoiler-free, pretty much. A group of grad students, you know, all decide to go on this fun little hippie festival called Midsummer in Sweden as part of like their European tour or something. They all go and one guy tags brings his girlfriend along who has actually been going through a lot of trauma and basically her mental health hasn't been good either. So um, a lot of people are bummed about it, but he decides to bring her anyways. And, you know, what ensues sort of leads into the events of Midsummer. Well, like the horror aspects of things for sure. So next up we have the plot of the film. I thought the plot was definitely um, maybe a little exaggerated at times, but ultimately it was really cool getting to see like a fresh new take on the horror genre. You know, I feel like in past years it's been kind of limiting, but this whole, you know, Swedish cult thing definitely breathe some new life into things and I know they took a lot of time to really research the lore around things like obviously it wasn't a one-to-one -one replica you know what I mean like they didn't actually do this every 90 years but I mean they did a really good job at uh, exploring a lot of lore and stuff like there are a lot of historical accuracies to things you know what I mean and um, like the plot serviced itself well it had a good point A to point B there are a lot of themes that are touched on like I'm going to lightly touch on them like life, death, cycles of things, um, uh, even some more taboo topics like incest or anything. What I wasn't really a big fan of the, of the plot was how every, a lot of times certain things would just be straight up told to you. Just large chunks of information would just be spoken aloud. You know what I mean? Like, I really thought it could have benefited if they did a show, not tell sort of thing in a lot of parts of the movie. You know, like, if characters dramatically found things out rather than it just being audibly spoken. And a lot of other stuff is just very plainly written out on the wall. And that's not even a, <laughs> an exaggeration. Like, a lot of key big events that happen are just written on a wall several times throughout the film. And I just thought it might have just been a little bit easy. I do kind of know that Hereditary was like that too with the dollhouse. But I just felt like the film would have serviced itself a little bit better. Now, my favorite part of the film actually has to go to its cinematography. I thought, you know, the um, the sound design, the shots, and the music, all A1. Definitely a masterpiece, dude. I mean, the shots always had a good way of making you feel uncomfortable and easy, a little bit creeped out. Music definitely serves it itself to that too. The sound design on point. A lot of sounds were really exaggerated just to make you just feel uneasy in just ordinarily mundane scenarios. And they pull that off excellently in my opinion. I mean, and some of the shots were just so intricate. I mean, just how the camera would pan, how they'd hold the camera still. I mean, right, and they're doing all sorts of visual tricks as well. I mean, it was just fun to really just feast your eyes on it even when nothing was going on in the film like you know sort of like how the intro they just had the music going some b-roll footage pretty much but it still serviced itself really well and it was really engaging you know um as far as the characters go i thought the main character uh danny uh really brought a lot of emotion to the table she really acted very hard for this one I mean, just playing a character that's so complex, it's definitely like a great job. I felt like some of the some of the side characters were very one note. And another thing is I don't think they did a good enough job trying to show that they all had this serious bond together because I feel like as American grad students, you have to have a serious bond with a group of people if you want to go out to Sweden for a month and a half, right? I mean, that's pretty serious and expensive commitment and you know several times throughout the film they just aren't showing that sort of you know like care towards each other or the you know even 
this same sort of like well-being towards each other you know what i mean um even the main character danny doesn't express that a lot either i mean at most it's a little bit of curiosity if another character's in trouble and i just wasn't a big fan of that um i did think a lot of you know let's see i did i did think that a lot of you know how things were presented though was definitely pretty interesting as well for sure um you know as far as the rituals were concerned i thought that was all like really well done i mean i i don't think it, it's going too far saying that there are rituals and stuff that happens because i think most people understand it's a cult type of thing but i also got to say i don't think the movie especially for being horror was really scary either i only really remember one time during the whole film where i was genuinely scared and it was a very fleeting moment and I, you know, not not to discredit, well, yeah, kind of to discredit the movie a little bit. Like, they, they definitely make you feel uneasy, creeped out a little bit. There's, it doesn't truly make you, like, scared. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like, man, after watching this film, I just won't be able to trust these old Swedish people. You know what I mean? Definitely not. Um yeah uh like there's just a lot of scenes where they definitely did a good job of gore you know it definitely was really um pleasing from a cinematic standpoint but definitely nothing scary either so yeah i mean and as far as the ending is concerned there's a lot of buzz and stuff about the ending online like oh this is what really happened or this is you know the ending explained i don't think it's quite as deep as everyone on the internet's making it out to be. I mean, there are videos about the ending that you can find on YouTube. They're going to be probably two or three times as long as this video. I don't really think that's necessary. But overall, I think, you know, Midsummer's definitely um, a unique twist on the horror genre for sure. Um, it definitely brings a lot of new stuff to the table, but I also feel like it falls victim to a lot of classic tropes as well. And honestly, at a lot of points in the film, I mean, this film's two hours, 20 minutes. It can feel pretty slow paced at points. You know, a lot of times I was just like, man, this movie's long. And there's probably a very large chunk of film left to go. But um, it, it brings a lot new to the table that's different. I really got to stress how different this film is. Just a lot of stuff you wouldn't ever expect to see. I don't want to go anything beyond that. So as far as the creativity, um, direction, the creepiness factor, and the cinematography, that was all really well done. Just some of the characters I didn't quite buy into. Again, um, some of the tropes were a little uh, on the nose, and a little bit of how they presented the story just also kind of felt too forced or too on the nose, if you guys know what I mean. So overall, I'd probably have to rate Midsummer, a solid 6.5 out of 10. You know, I did enjoy the film. Um, my dad actually didn't, so I feel like it could definitely be a divisive film. But overall, definitely a good, fun film. And, you know, there's definitely a lot to appreciate about it as well, despite it not being very scary. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. Peace.